Kuzo, Kila Siku, Jana Leona. The year is 1998. A young man has just moved to Zimmerman with his family. Deep into alcoholism, one of the pastors here at the DCIKZ noticed him and made an active effort to tell him about Jesus until he finally gave his life to Jesus. Today, this man is an active church member and a faithful laborer in God's vineyard. Now introducing Pastor Moses Obiru. My name is Moses Obiru, uh, a son in this house. I came to this church in 1998. Prior to that, I used to live at uh, Kahawa Wendani while working at Kenyatta University. Uh, during the 1997 elections, we got a lot of money and all that money we drank it at a uh, bar there called Princess and uh, even at the Kahawa uh, Garrison together with a few friends that were working there. And when the money was over, and my wife saw that I was getting lost, she decided that we get away from Kahawa Barracks to Zimmerman. But even when I came here, I continued drinking uh, at a bar near, uh, near Home Depot there. But not too long, not too long after that, uh, Reverend Mwidi uh, reached me out. After so many attempts, I got born again. And from that time on, we've been walking. I we walked with him uh, in Christ. He trained me, he held my hand in a number of things, and even got me into leadership in this church. And even after he's gone, he's left me uh, still serving after him. Over the years, I've served in a number of uh, ministries in this church. When I came in, I began with uh, a group of actors called Actors for Christ, which was evangelizing, uh, spreading the word through uh, theater. And uh, after that, I got into a main ministry fellowship where I served as a secretary to the Levites, then grew to become the overall uh, secretary to the main fellowship. I also joined security team in 2005 alongside uh, Brother Rukungu. Then we formed this team and it has grown. The small thing that began as a, began as a passion here it has grown into a big thing here and personally to me i've been able to advance even in this area in this space to a level that i'm now even lecturing in the same from something that began as a passion from ministry and so even you who is seated there serving please know that whatever you are doing in church you can do it outside there and you'll be able to uh, even feed your family serve the community even out there the fellowship in this church the warmth in this church cannot allow you to go far. Even when we move from here, from Zimmerman to along Kangundo Road, 30 kilometers away, we still find ourselves coming here, passing all those churches because of the warmth and the fellowship that we found at uh, Deliverance Church Zimmerman. For those 25 years that I've been here, I just got uh, married when I came. We've gotten our first, our second child here. We've been baptized here, both me and my wife and all our children. We've uh, taken them to school at Cornerstone here, both of them, and uh, we are really, really grateful to this community because here, for 25 years we've been here. We've served the Lord, we've been served here, we've benefited actually all my, half of my years I've spent in this church and in this community, and I'm very, very, very grateful. All my years of salvation have been here, and I thank God for this place. I thank God for the bishop, I thank God for the pastoral that have been here, and all the other leaders that have been here, gone through here, and gone elsewhere that have impacted in my life. I thank you so much, and may God bless you. As the Lord says through Prophet Samuel, man may look at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. It's not about where you are, not about where you are, but about where you're going. Are you willing to let the Lord lead your steps? Are you willing to go out and make disciples of all nations? Until next time, this is my story. This is your story. This is our story. This is the DCIKZ at Foot.